subscribe to our YouTube channel and press the bell icon to get the latest updates. Welcome to another edition of Scientifix where we bring you the top science stories of the week from across the globe. Ancient species of crocodiles walked on their two hind legs like dinosaurs and measured over 3 meters in length, say scientists who analyzed the fossilized footprints of the reptiles dating back to between 110 to 120 million years ago. The footprints found in South Korea measure around 24 cm, suggesting the reptiles that left the tracks had legs about the same height as adult human legs. Researchers first thought that the footprints had been made by giant pterosaurs walking on two legs to protect their wings. However, the team now argues that they are more likely from ancestors to modern-day crocodiles and alligators. The size of the footprints indicate a body length of up to 3 meters, while the skin traces and clear impressions suggest heel-toe walking. Also this week scientists at the Harvard Medical School have for the first time found a way to put mice into a hibernation like state for days and then revive them. The team discovered a set of neurons in the brain's hypothalamus that controls hibernation like behavior or torpor in mice. They then showed that these neurons can be stimulated to induce a torpor in mice. The animals can be kept in that state for days. blocking these neurons can then disrupt this torpor researchers say that by better understanding these processes in animal models scientists could one day induce torpor in humans which could in turn pave the way for therapies to prevent brain injury during stroke enable new treatments for metabolic diseases or even help space agencies send humans to deep space in other news from the animal kingdom Scientists have used drones to capture stunning footage of thousands of green turtles around an island off the coast of Australia. The researchers believe this may be the world's largest green turtle rookery with over 64,000 green turtles around the island waiting to come ashore and lay eggs. The team was using drones or unmanned aerial vehicles to carry out a population survey of the turtles. Previous population survey methods involved painting a stripe down the green turtle's back when they were nesting on the beach and then getting on a small boat and counting painted and non-painted turtles. However, the paint would wash off after a few days, affecting the counting accuracy. Using a drone is easier, safer, and much more accurate, and the data is permanently stored. Meanwhile, scientists have found that tiny pieces of plastic rain down on us all the time and is constantly present in the air we breathe. Researchers used high-resolution atmospheric data and identified samples of microplastics and other particulates collected over 14 months in 11 US national parks and wilderness areas. They estimate that more than 1000 tons of microplastics are deposited on the protected lands in the western US each year equivalent to more than 123 million plastic water bottles. Microplastics in the atmosphere may have unknown consequences for the ecosystems and food chains. The team notes that the size ranges of the microplastics observed were well within that which accumulate in the lung tissue. This is Mohana Basu for the print. Do subscribe to our YouTube channel for the latest updates.